So being a golf and fitness professional, I wanted to release a video talking about the keys to progress, because I think these are universal. And the first key is to lose your ego. I think a lot of people are inhibited by their ego when they're trying to get better and trying to see progress in whatever it is they're doing. So for golfers, that ego will stop them from making physical changes to their technique. Because what happens when you make changes to technique? Well, initially, your game may get a little bit worse before it gets better. And people are afraid to do that. They don't want to look bad in front of their friends. They always want to be the big dog in the clubhouse. Um, so they're always afraid to make those changes. And as a result of that, they're just going to stay the same. So that fear of looking bad is going to stop you from actually making a change that's going to eventually progress you forward. And the same will be said in the gym where people don't want to do the stuff that maybe makes them look bad. So if they're not very good at, I don't know, climbing a rope, then maybe they won't try and climb a rope, but they're not very good at, at skipping, they won't try skipping, or they're, they're not, they're, they've got some lift they're not good at, they might not turn up on those days. So the first thing is lose the ego. And that goes alongside with the second thing, which is work on the hard things. So people think that in the exercise side of things that the hard thing is coming to the gym and training. That's probably not the hardest thing to do, although um, for some people just getting into the gym is the hard thing. So maybe improving that is the first thing to do. But working on the hard things is, like I said earlier about dropping the ego, working on the things you're not good at, and also working on things you don't like doing. So stuff like mobility work, I think, suffers a lot of people. Um, technical work, technique work, where you have to just think and get your technique right before you move forward rather than just chucking up the weight you can do. Uh, and nutrition, that's another big thing that people don't want to do. On the golf side of things, doing the hard thing is not just going out to the range and practicing because that's easy. You can just put some music on and bash balls, uh, not just chipping and putting, but actually putting a dedicated effort into working on your game. Okay, so on the golf range, that's going to be you know, working a technique, going through the process of maybe hitting some, some poorer shots to actually make a physical change to your technique. Maybe taking your phone and videoing yourself and working on what the coach has asked you to work on and actually seeing if you can make some physical changes while suffering for a few shots of hitting some shots that maybe are slightly poorer initially. That's the hard thing, okay? If, if you're just going to the range and practicing, uh, that's not hard, just hitting balls is not difficult. Uh, playing on a golf course is not difficult, but working on areas of your game that maybe make you suffer initially, initially is gonna be tough. So like working on a pre-shot routine can be tough because breaking your habit of not having a pre-shot routine can be a different thing to do. Um, all of these areas, so actually going through a little bit of suffering is gonna reap you the benefits in the long term and that, that's the same in the, in the fitness world and the same with your diet as well. So actually doing the hard thing with your diet, cutting out the things that maybe you don't wanna cut out, being honest with yourself um, is the third key actually to my progress. So being honest with yourself and being honest um, with what you're actually doing is another thing I think people really struggle with. So the, the, the third key for me is, yeah, trying to be honest. Um, and what I mean by that is people say, oh yeah, no, I'm eating well. But if they look down and broke it down and tracked it, they work out that there are areas of their diet they could improve. And that's, um, I think people aren't honest with this. So I think people will look at themselves and say, oh no, I'm doing everything I can, doing everything I can. Oh yeah, I did go out Wednesday. Oh yeah, I did go out Thursday. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. And actually when you break it down, when you actually look at their calories over the last two weeks or, or their macronutrient profile over the last two weeks, it's pretty poor. Um, or people will say, you know, golfers will say, I've been practicing. And then you break down what they've actually been doing and how much dedicated time they've spent to, to working on what they're trying to do. It's probably very limited. So um, I think being honest with yourself and actually maybe keeping a journal, or keeping some notes of what you're actually doing, training wise as well, when you say to someone, okay, I'm not seeing any progress, well, have you been doing this? Have you been working on your mobility? Have you been uh, spending your time doing those drills that I gave you to work on your technique with that? And all the time, when you actually think about it, you haven't been doing that and you're trying to um, base your progress on, on, on some falsehoods there. The fourth element I think you need to do, is, that everyone needs is patience, okay? Results aren't easy and they don't always come straight away. The, the problem with, with everything that you do is that initially when you start, you have exponential growth. So when you start playing golf, you exponentially get better, especially putting in some time. It just takes a little bit of time hitting balls on the range, playing a little bit more and then suddenly, you know, you cut 10 shots off your game 
over a summer period, then it gets tough. It's the same with weight loss. You eat well for, um, for two or three weeks, you lose loads of weight in those first couple of weeks. Um, then it platters out. Training wise, when you first start training, yeah, we remember those days where you know, you're picking up one set of dumbbells one week, the next set of dumbbells the next week, and so on and so forth until you've ramped up by like 10 kilos on dumbbells over the course of a couple of months, and you've seen your body change dramatically over that period of time, and then suddenly it plateaus out, okay? There is a period whenever you're doing something where you're going to reach plateaus and you have to be patient and you have to like say, go back, work on the hard things, be honest. All of those areas you need to do over that time, but you need an element of patience, okay? And you need to stick to the process. And that brings me to my fifth point, which is you have to learn to love the progress, okay? Learn to love the journey because that is the most important part about everything. When you're playing as a golfer, you need to love the process of practicing, of playing, of working on your game, of um, just doing all the things that you have to do to get better. Because if you only enjoy the results and you only enjoy the plaudits of your friends when you've had a good round, then you're not going to be able to stick to that process and you're going to drop up pretty quickly. So you have to learn to love and embrace that process. It's the same with fitness, it's the same with training, it's the same with nutrition. You have to learn to love that process. You have to learn to, to really get involved in, and, and enjoy that, that part of it. And that's the difficult thing, is to remember that all, everything you're doing in progress, there's no end, okay? Um, you have to be constantly working. Unless you're an Olympian and you're gonna go for a gold medal, then I suppose you could say that's the end at that point if once you won your gold. Um, but really, in reality, there is no end to this. You're just going to keep working it. So you have to be enjoying that journey for that time because um, that's what you're going to spend most of your time doing. So you have to learn to embrace what you're doing uh, and that's going to see some real progress. So I'm, I'm at the moment, if I'm talking about my own experience um, in terms of my fitness, people have already seen some videos of me trying to struggle to, with the double unders, but I don't hate it. I wish I was there quicker, obviously, but I'm enjoying um, working on my technique. I'm enjoying seeing some changes to my technique. I'm trying to work on that kind of thing. I'm doing the hard stuff where I'm um, videoing, trying to improve my technique, trying to work on my skills in, in a small amount every day. And I actually am enjoying that process. Like I say, I'm, in, I'm a little bit impatient for results, I've got to be honest with you, but I don't get frustrated because I know that I'm going to get there one day if I just keep plugging away. And it's the same um, when I was working on my golf game. Um, when I have more time in my hands, when I'm working hard on my golf game again, I really, um, although some days you didn't want to do it, I, over the long term I really enjoyed that. And I think I learned so much from the struggles and so much from the struggles in, in, my, in my golf because that's, I've been able to apply a lot of those sort of the lessons that I learned uh, in my journey to, be, to become a professional golfer and then to improve from there. I've applied that to my pupils and in the same in the fitness world as well, my, my struggles and the more I try to improve certain skills, the more I have to learn about their skills, so the more my knowledge grows. So I really embrace that, that part of it. So remember the, the key points, I'm gonna throw there's five key points there. So you're gonna lose the ego. You're gonna work on the hard things. Yeah, that's a difficult one for people to, people to wanna do. Um, you're gonna be patient. Very difficult for people to do as well, but you're gonna to have to be patient. Um, be honest with yourself, okay? Don't give yourself falsehoods and, and, and um, because it's very easy to do. Be honest with yourself. And finally, the fifth one is learn to love the process. I think if you can do that and or work towards doing that, then you are gonna see progress over time. Thanks, guys.